I'm Jane Lunnan. I'm with the Ashe County Arts Council in West Jefferson, and I've got another update on the arts in Ashe. You know, it's August, and there are always lots of great artsy things going on in West Jefferson and the Arts District. I want to share a little bit about them with you, um, starting with uh, some concert events and things coming up that you'll want to mark your calendars for. Uh, a barn quilt tour coming up on September 5th, a two-hour guided tour of barn quilts, Ashe County history, great scenic views. Reservations only on Saturday, September 5th. Tickling the Ivories, the annual piano concert, Saturday, September 12th. Tickets are available. Reserve seating at the Ash Civic Center. And a heads up that the On the Same Page Literary Festival will be kicking off September 15th through the 19th. Lots of great events, most of which are free, that you'll want to take advantage of. But right now, we're going to talk about visual arts. And in the gallery of the Ash Art Center in downtown West Jefferson is a beautiful, beautiful, full, colorful show called Art Mix. And with me are two of the artists that are participating in this exhibit. Happy to have with me Betty Powell and Mary Ann Kaplinger, two of the members of Art Mix. Welcome, gals. Thank you. These are both fine, fine visual artists. Betty, you are primarily a, a pastel artist, yes, is that I correct? Yes, I am. And you also do some collage. Yes, I do. And uh, we've been happy to show your work many, many times before and are pleased that you're a part of the Art Mix exhibit. And Mary Ann, you mm -hmm. have been an original member of Art Mix, yes, right? Yes, that's correct. And yes. you are primarily a painter. Well, some painting and some fiber art. And fiber oh. art. Mm -hmm. Great. Uh, Mary Ann, tell us a mm -hmm. little bit about Art Mix. What, what, what is it? Art Mix is a group of 12 women from the Northwest North Carolina area. We're all professional artists and we are um, committed to friendship and support for each other for our artwork, but also as friends. What a great combination. What a great combination. Um, does Art Mix meet on a regular basis? We do. Or a regular location? No, not a regular location. Uh, we try to meet every month, and we meet for lunch, discuss whatever um, upcoming shows or venues that anyone is participating in. And when people are working on a new piece, Often um, someone will bring a piece of work to show so that we're all inspired and encouraged. Oh, that, that's great. Do you mm -hmm. offer critiques to each other with oh, yes. your work? Mm -hmm. is, yes, is we that do. A, I would imagine that's an important part of oh, the yes, learning process. Oh, yes, I think it's very, very important. It really is. Um, we've mentioned the fact that there are 12 women yes. in Art Mix, right. and we've, we've talked about painting, a little bit of fiber work, mm -hmm. pastel work. Um, there are also other mediums represented, or, or many different styles of painting, aren't there? Yes. Um, yes. Um, when you talk about other media, uh, Marianne Prock works in clay with large sculptures. Um, as you mentioned, Betty often uses pastels. Uh, Tanya bottomly uses acrylics and oil paints. Right. Uh, Teresa Serda works in encaustic. Um, let me see. So this this is a wonderful educational show for yes. folks that are coming because you're going to see so many different styles of painting that's right. as well as different media that's being used. Right. Yes. As I mentioned, it's a very full show. It's a <laughs> gallery is filled yeah, with yeah. Oh my goodness. You know, it's so much fun for me to come to work because every six weeks the gallery changes. And when I went in this morning and I rounded the corner from the gallery shop area, it was like one of those oh, wow experiences yeah. all over again yeah. because I, I forget what I'm gonna see. And and mm -hmm. there it was. And this is one of those shows that you keep looking at keep finding new favorites for mm -hmm. and and continually learn by by looking at the work that's being reflected there. I was struck by the how colorful it was. Oh, mm -hmm. it's it's mm -hmm. splendid. Yeah. Um, we've got some paintings um, by Susan Van Wyck. Her yes. work tends to be more on the uh, realistic end of things. Mm -hmm. Judy McNeil has got some beautiful work uh, with her paintings yes. as well. Um, uh, Margaret Martine 
has got some really no, cutting no. edge <laughs> kind of artwork. She is. Yes. She's, she's, you know, artists use their media in different ways mm -hmm. and their subjects and their styles as a way of expressing themselves. Um, right. And some social commentary going on oh, with, yes. with some of the work from, from Margaret. Judy right. Humphrey's got some beautiful photography mm -hmm. in the show, too. Yes, so there's does. another nice. uh, yes. example of, of media that's being, being reflected. Mm -hmm. um, and we've mentioned uh, Cindy Breeden and her painting, as mm -hmm. well as Marianne Suggs and her great mixed media work. Um, and it's always dangerous to start mentioning names because we probably <laughs> left somebody out. But let, let it suffice to say it's a great, big, full, beautiful show. It is. Um, mm. How often does Art Mix do group shows like this? I, we usually have about three a year, wouldn't you say? Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, uh, it changes sometimes it changes. from year to year, oh, but yeah. generally every year, at which it turns out to be an excellent impetus to keep working well, it is. And, and, and to keep creating <laughs> yes, work. yes. And, oh, yes and that is the emphasis of this mm -hmm. show in mm -hmm. the gallery of the art center it was new work mm -hmm. by art mix and and that it that it is um this exhibit will be up um through saturday september 2nd i believe uh I september 5th right yes um so folks will have a lot of mm -hmm. opportunities to see right. to see the show um, we had a great opening reception and look forward to, to this exhibit mm -hmm. being in the gallery. Um, we've, we've got some, some great samples uh, of some of the work to, to share throughout this, this uh, presentation. Um, any, other, any other thoughts about Art Mix, about the show? Any, any impressions for you as individual artists that you'd like to share? I, I think it was a surprise this time to see how many of us really took brilliant color mm -hmm. and how much uh, of a change in some ways that's been. It, um, we're, we're between representational all the way to abstract, but we've all seemed enthralled with very bright colors this time. <laughs> and what, what a perfect showing for this time of year. Uh -huh. uh, we yes. also want to mention Orna Benter's yes. uh, beautiful works. Oh, yes. uh, and the some of alcohol, alcohol mm -hmm. ink. Mm -hmm. yes. uh, again, talking about brilliant colors, oh, yeah. the vibrancy uh, yes. that all of you are able to create. It's just wonderful. Mm -hmm. It has been a thrill to have the Art Mix show in the Gallery of the Art Center. And what a wonderful opportunity to, to share with you, Mary Ann, and Betty, your work. And thank you for being a part of this, this show. So we can let the viewers know to be sure to come by the Gallery of the Ash Art Center to see Art Mix, new works by 12 female artists throughout the High Country region, showing in the gallery through September 5th. If you'd like to see more samples of, of this exhibit, you can find that on our website and lots more information, ashcountyarts.org. You can give us a call at the Arts Council, 336-846-2787, or better yet, come on over to West Jefferson, come to downtown, look for Main Street and School Avenue and the Ash Art Center. We'll fill you in on all the latest beautiful artwork from Art Mix. Mary Ann and Betty, Thanks so much for being a part of the show. Oh, Thank we, you. We appreciate, we appreciate showing it. there. It's wonderful. Great. It's wonderful. Until yes. next time, have an art-filled day. Mm -hmm.